Hey everyone. I'm so grateful to be here with you all. I'm Ilana from Jewish Voice for Peace. Zionism is a hateful, prejudice, and genocidal ideology with the explicit mission to erase Palestinian identity and violently remove Palestinians from their homelands. Genocide is not something that we sit around and deliberate on what to call it and wait to label it so in history. We must continue to do everything in our power to disrupt the military industrial system that fuels the Zionist mission. War criminals must be disrupted. The occupation must end. The Israeli apartheid regime must fall. We will continue to fight for the liberation of Palestine. Of Palestine. <laughs> Real safety does not grow from more guns, bombs, walls, or a police state. True safety is built through forging real solidarity with all fighting for more a more liberated world. As Jews, we say, not in our name. The agenda of war profiteers has nothing to do with the protection of Jewish people and all to do with the harming our movements for justice. We will uproot complicity where we are we demand that the U.S. government immediately call for a permanent ceasefire, the withdrawal of military funding to stop sending weapons to Israel. The U.S. must hold the Israeli government accountable for the criminal human rights violations, war crimes, and genocide against Palestinians. We must also hold U.S. leaders accountable. We commit to escalating our protests and the campaigns for BDS to end billions pouring into the Israeli war machine. All eyes on Rafa. Magaziner, there is blood on your hands. Magaziner, there is blood on your hands! Magazina, we are here today to demand that you vote no on HR 815, which would send $14.3 billion to Israel as they prepare for a ground invasion in Rafah. Shame! Shame! The most densely populated area in the world where Palestinians face imminent starvation and a humanitarian disaster. We ask represent Magaziner to follow through with his strong opposition to any consideration of the idea of forced transfer of Palestinians out of Gaza, which he expressed when he signed the letter with representatives Ayanna Presley and Jamie Raskin, January 18th. Representative Magaziner, now is the time to act to prevent the ethnic cleansing and forced displacement of 1.5 million Palestinians. Vote no. Vote there no. is blood on your hands. Vote no. There's blood on your hands. All eyes on Rafa now. All eyes on Rafa now. We stand for an end to the occupation. We stand for an end to the occupation. And Israel's apartheid regime. And Israel's apartheid regime. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Thank you folks for coming here. This is just we need to keep on building the pressure. Let me quickly plug another gathered over here to demand that our representatives they listen to us. They listen to us so that uh, there is genocide, ongoing genocide, and they stop the military aid. So if you look at uh, Biden, genocide Joe's uh, plan, the plan is just war. War and then racism here because they have bundled up budgets together to prolong the war in Ukraine. They want to support uh, the genocidal state of Israel 
giving uh, 15 billion more dollars uh, so that they carry out forward its genocidal campaign in Palestine and also they want to provoke future war uh, in the Indo-Pacific by also bundling the front for Taiwan. So just imagine these three are the only war is in the in the agenda of the Biden uh, administration. And what is our representatives doing? They already voted in the Senate. They kind of voted. They voted to pass uh, to carry forward this war. But they have not um, uh, in, in the in the uh, in the House. It's still under deliberation. But we demand that our, the representatives listen to us and stop stop this uh, uh, future aid going for more. Um, uh, wars. So let's hear from some of the folks who are there. Uh, uh, folks uh, delivered uh, from um, a letter demanding that uh, our voices be heard. So let me call on Reem first, uh, and uh, Reem, uh, a member of our community, a leader, and she's going to uh, read the letter uh, that has been delivered. Thank you. Thank you so much, Satya. Um, good morning, everyone. I really appreciate all of you being here today. Um, I've lost a little bit of my own food. It's been a really, really tough uh, four months. My family is suffering dearly in Gaza. And um, when we call them and we find out that 40 or 50 people are in one tent or, you know, under one broken house, um, water, uh, rain. Today I just listened to the news and the rain is. Um, coming down on them hard and the tents are not able to protect them but when you hear that they all split a piece of cheese how is that sustainable how are we allowing this as a country so I'm very saddened but you guys give me power thank you so much JVP thank you so much Satya and PSL thank you for my brothers and sisters who came out today so uh, I'm going to read the letter that was written by uh, one of our wonderful uh, Muslim sisters and um, signed by um, a lot of members of all of our communities. Over the past 133 days, Rhode Islanders across the state have watched the attempted genocide of the Palestinian people. We have seen images of literal hell on our phones day in and day out. The horrific pictures of men digging desperately through the rubble searching for their loved ones. We see women sobbing at the loss of their children. We see young kids left without even one family member to care for them. We see the desperation of people needing the very basics of food, water, access to shelter and toilets. We see thousands of animals wandering the streets searching for their families, searching for food and water. And, and we see the silence of our politicians. Shame. 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 In all that loss, we see TikTok reel after Instagram reel after post of Israeli soldiers committing war crimes, including dumping the bodies of men sh and shooting children as well as livestock for sport. Shame. Shame! We witness the wanton destruction of ancient artifacts, religious institutions, hospitals, educational institutions, and basic service needs. We see homes seized and desecrated. We see Israelis protesting, begging for their government to do something about the hostages and to stop the slaughter that is done in their names. Shame! Shame! We see settlers enacting terrorism against Palestinians in the West Bank, burning down olive groves, kicking people out of their homes, threatening to cut up priests, and blocking humanitarian aid. We see absolute desperation and torment that has no justification. Shame. Shame. Due to this absolute desperation, thousands of Rhode Islanders have turned to protesting, standing outside the offices of politicians, military contractors' offices, and gathering together to mourn. 
Many of us have joined phone banking opportunities to pressure our federal delegation daily to express our firm convictions to end continued funding and support of the supposed moral army. Our politicians have unified us in demanding justice be enacted by the people who have the power to do something. Millions upon millions across the nation have been pouring into the streets to raise their voices, begging apathetic politicians such as yourself, Magaziner, to put an end to this to the United States support of Israelis genocide of Gaza and the West Bank. In several responses made by our politicians, they cite anti-Semitism as the reason to approve genocide. Shame. Shame. Ignoring anti-Semitism is a serious concern, as is Islamophobia and anti-Palestinian hatred. Our politician rushed to claim anti-Semitism when protesting Israel, but remain silent when Semitic people are being physically harmed or murdered. Shame. 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 Dangerous tropes are being recklessly thrown around by our politicians, starting with the highest office in the land, and are silent about the actual physical violence people experience. They are silent when a Palestinian child was stabbed to death. Silent when Brown University student was shot and paralyzed from his wound. Silent when a Palestinian man was stabbed and beaten in Texas. Silent to physical violence being carried out by police to survivors of Holocaust. They are silent to the violent inflicted the, the violence inflicted on Jewish people who are crying out, not in our name! Not your name! Silent to the state-sponsored violence against Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, Yemen, and Iraq, as Israel has posed a threat to Israelis and Palestinians. U.S. politiciano have remained silent. Our politicians, including you, Magaziner, have refused to listen to your constituents. Shame. Shame. Shame! Instead, you have chosen to back an ongoing genocide that did not begin with Hamas on October 7th, yet you double down on backing the extremist right-wing government of Israel. We are not giving up! No. No. We Rhode Islanders demand you immediately Stop funding the genocide against the Palestinian people. We demand that you call for an immediate and permanent ceasefire. We demand that you vote against the purposeful silencing of Palestinian voices and allies. We demand immediate distribution of all humanitarian aid and removal of all blockades. Just to note, Rhode Islanders have made 10,816 calls to their representatives in the last four and a half weeks. We will continue to make these calls. We will double them. Yes. We will triple them if we have to until this genocide is over. Yes, we will. God bless you all. What was it? 3301, right? <laughs> Do you know this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah,
bombs and occupation. Not for bombs and occupation. Seth Magaziner, there's blood on your hands. Seth Magaziner, there's blood on your hands. No genocide on stolen land. No genocide on stolen lands. Money for jobs and education. Money for jobs and education. Not for bombs and occupation. Not for bombs and occupation. Seth Magaziner, there's blood on your hands. Seth Magaziner, there's blood on your hands. No genocide on stolen land. No genocide on stolen land. We are here today to demand that Representative Magaziner vote no on HR 815, which would send $14.3 billion to Israel as they prepare for a ground invasion in Rafah, the most densely populated area in the world, where Palestinians face imminent starvation and a humanitarian disaster. We ask that Representative Magaziner follow through with his quote, strong opposition to any consideration of the idea of forced transfer of Palestinians out of Gaza, which he expressed when he signed a letter with Representative Ayanna Presley and Jamie Raskin, January 18th. Magaziner, now is the time to act to prevent the ethnic cleansing and forced displacement of 1.5 million Palestinians Vote no, there is blood on your hands. All eyes on Rafa now. We stand for an end to occupation and an end to Israel's apartheid regime. Thank you. Free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, 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 free Palestine. Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Free, bombs and occupation. Not for bombs and occupation. Seth Magaziner, there's blood on your hands. Seth Magaziner, there's blood on your hands. No genocide on stolen land. No genocide on stolen lands. Money for jobs and education. Money for jobs and education. Not for bombs and occupation. Not for bombs and occupation. Seth Magaziner, there's blood on your hands. Seth Magaziner, there's blood on your no genocide on stolen land. No genocide on stolen land. We are here today to demand that Representative Magaziner vote no on HR 815, which would send $14.3 billion to Israel as they prepare for a ground invasion in Rafah, the most densely populated area in the world where Palestinians face imminent starvation and a humanitarian disaster. We ask that Representative Magaziner follow through with his, quote, strong opposition to any consideration of the idea of forced transfer of Palestinians out of Gaza, which he expressed when he signed a letter with Representative Ayanna Presley and Jamie Raskin, January 18th. Magaziner, now is the time to act to prevent the ethnic cleansing and forced displacement of 1.5 million Palestinians. Vote no, there is blood on your hands. All eyes on Rafa now. We stand for an end to occupation and an end to Israel's apartheid regime. Thank you. Free Palestine. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, 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 free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Thank you. Any mention you were from Jewish Voices for Peace? Jewish Voice for Peace, yes. And we can send this also to 